what I was talking about was not so much a report on practices that already exist, but more a kind of vision for the kind of film criticism that I, uh, that I personally would like to see more of. Uh, film criticism that uses uh, the medium it's itself, film. So it's film criticism that is audiovisual, that uses uh, clips from the object of study uh, in order to illustrate and explain uh, the way that film, uh, sorry, the way that uh, literary critics have always been able to do. So one of the reasons that I've become interested in digital film criticism is that there is a lot of confusion about what are the uh, practices and what are the legal norms here. Uh, and my argument would be that I can easily imagine uh, a piece of audiovisual film criticism that is, let's say, an hour long, that uses a lot of visual quotations that I would argue are um, obviously uh, fair use, to use the American expression. And I think it's important to kind of fight for our digital rights. I think this is an area that is so obviously not something that infringes on uh, or, or uh, is a comp copyright infringement because it performs an important function, it's a, it's a piece of criticism and also uh, the result, the, um, the audiovisual work that results from it is in no way in competition with the, uh, the source material. And my postdoc project is uh, EU financed. Uh, it's um, called Of Authorship and Originality. That's the name of the whole project, which is a collaboration between Bergen, where I'm based, and Amsterdam and Cambridge. Cambridge and um, Amsterdam are, um, they are uh, their background is law. So it's an interdisciplinary uh, project that explores the ways in which theories from the humanities uh, may be used uh, in, the, in uh, legal areas to uh, shed light on copyright law, where also concepts like authorship, originality, work and creativity are uh, very central as they are in the humanities. Uh, by the end of the year, perhaps, I hope to publish some video essays that I'm uh, conducting on the uh, American television series The Wire, so uh, you might want to look out for that.